Hello everyone, I am Professor Vagmani Bia. Today we can discuss the topic uh, on the crop production technology of soya bean. Uh, in that, uh, that is first one, the uh, botanical name of uh, soya bean that is uh, Glycine uh, Max. And family belongs that is the Leguminaceae and the origin uh, uh, from the China. And next point, uh, you can see the area and distribution. As the soybean is the one of the uh, important pulse as well as the oyster crop uh, grown uh, all over India uh, as well as in the world. The important soybean uh, growing countries are USA, China, Brazil, and Mexico and the Russian Federation. As the uh, among countries, the USA ranks first in terms of variant production of uh, soybean and India, the major soybean growing states are Madhya Pradesh, UP, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Gujarat and the Rajasthan. Uh, next point that is the economic importance of uh, soybean. As the soybean is the uh, can be used as both uh, pulse as well as the uh, oyster crop, and the soybean possesses a very high nutritional value and the high yield potential. Uh, it contains 20% oil and the 40% protein. In soybean protein is rich in valuable amino acids uh, like uh, lysine. Uh, it is the most of the cereals are absent. Then in case, uh, in addition, it contains a good amount of uh, uh, minerals, salts, fats and the vitamins. And also the sprouting seeds also contain the considerable amount of vitamin C. The soybean oil is used for the manufacturing of the vanaspati ghee. Then soybean oil is also used for the cooking purpose. Then soybean uh, is used for the making a high protein food for the babies or the children. Uh, it is widely used in the indu industrial uh, production of different antibiotics. Then also the soybean being a leguminous crop, uh, it has capacity to build up the soil fertility by fixing the large amount of uh, atmospheric nitrogen through the root the no uh, nodules and also the leaf fall uh, on the ground at the maturity, it will add the more amount of organic matter into the soil for better uh, enrichment of the carbon. And it can use as a fodder and the fodder uh, forage for the cattle. And the soybean is also called uh, the golden bean because it can be used as a pulse, then as oil seed and as a green manure, then fodder, cover crop as well as the raw material for the agro-based industries. That's why the soybean is also called as golden bean. Then soybean being the richest, uh, cheapest and easiest source of the best quality protein. Uh, and the fat uh, and having the vast multiplicity of uses as food and the industrial products. That's why the soybean is uh, uh, called as the wonder crop and then soybean is also called as the poor man's uh, meat. This is the economic importance of uh, uh, the soybean. Uh, next one you can see the uh, classification of so soybean. In case of soybean, the, the according to color, uh, there are three types that is green, black and the yellow and according to shape and size the uh, uh, there are different uh, types that is uh, soja elli elliptica, then soja sperica, then so soja compressa and according to shape of pot the soja plati uh, platycarpa, then soja tumida are the different types or classes of uh, classification of the uh, soybean that is according to color, then size and shape of seed then shape of pot. Uh, next one you can see the uh, uh, soil, soil and climate or the ecological conditions required for the soybean. As the soil it can be grown on the all types of soils and then soil should be well drained and fertile. Then soil should have the high water holding capacity. Then water logging soils are uh, not suitable for the soybean cultivation, then saline soils also not ideal for soybean because it will affect the root nodulation activity as well as number of the root nodules and then sandy loam to clay loam soils are the ideal for the soybean uh, uh, cultivation then pH range should be 6.5 to 7.5. In climate, uh, in case of soybean, as a grown being in a tropical crop uh, or it is a curry season crop. Uh, it requires hot and humid climate and also requires the warm weather. Then low temperature at uh, flowering uh, tends to result poor seed set. And then optimum temperature required that is 26 to 36 uh, 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 degrees Celsius. Uh, next one that is the uh, 
next one that is land preparation uh, in case of uh, land preparation that is a uh, or the sorry citizen sowing uh, in case of citizen sowing the seed rate required for the sowing of uh, 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 timely as is timely sowing that is 7 to 8, 80 kg per hectare and then for uh, uh, late sowing that is 100 to 120 kg per hectare uh, because of uh, if uh, uh, delay or the late sowing the seed rate uh, is will be uh, required more than the timely sowing because of uh, to avoid the uh, mortality or to be um, due to increase in soil temperature uh, or to reduce the loss of uh, moist soil moisture there will be uh, more chances of the uh, uh, affect the growth of shielding uh, uh, hence there is need to be maintain the optimum plant population there is a need to be used as a extra seeded over the timely sowing and then spacing required for soybean that is 60 to 30 k centimeter or the 45 to 15 centimeter so in time that is June to July then sowing depth 3 to 4 centimeter sowing methods for uh, soybean that is broadcasting drilling and dibbling method then seed treatments that is before sowing soybean seeds are treated with the thyrum or captain at the rate of 3 gram uh, per kg of seeds helps to prevent the seed as well as soil one diseases and also treat, uh, seeds are treated with rhizobium japonicum this is a species will be found the uh, isolated from the soybean uh, roots uh, uh, noodles and it can be used as biofertilizer for especially soybean it is 25 gram per kg of seed uh, it helps to the increase the atmospheric nitrogen uh, fixation by symbiotically uh, next one you can see the land preparation uh, in case of land preparation, so even next uh, being uh, uh, Karib season or you can grow in Karib season, it requires uh, one deep plowing uh, uh, operation as the roots are fibrous or adventitious. It will be requires uh, one deep plowing followed by the uh, uh, two to three harrowing operations uh, required to make the ideal seed bed that is the core seed bed uh, uh, ideal for this. So, yeah, sowing of for the soy, sowing of soy. Uh, next point that is the uh, varieties. We can see here the different uh, there are different types of uh, uh, varieties of soy. That is the uh, Bragg, Lee, then soy two, Posa sixteen, Posa twenty, then Angkor, then Gauro, then Gujarat soy one, then Moneta, CO one, CO two. MSCS 124, JS 335, then Fule Kaldeni, then Fule Agroni, then Fule Sangam, then Fule Kimaya, then KS 103. There are different types of varieties. There are varieties. You can see the photographs. There is Fule Kaldeni, Fule Agroni, then JS. This is a popular variety of soybean grown all over India. Then Angkor, then KS 103. In fully sangam, then uh, fully kimaya. These are the varieties of uh, soybean. Next one, the cropping systems. Uh, in case of soybean, the, the crop rotation system, uh, as a uh, soybean being a leguminous crop or grown as a previous crop, then followed by next crop that is the succeeding uh, in season that is uh, belongs to non legume that is wheat, then maize and safflower. This is a benefited as a residual nitrogen and the phosphorus. In intercropping system, uh, that is the soybean plus uh, maize, then uh, soybean and, uh, plus ground, uh, sorghum, then permalate, then PGNP. Uh, this is a, a, a examples of intercropping system, that is the four rows of uh, soybean and two rows of maize. And then uh, <coughs> soybean sorghum, then soybean permalate. These are the cropping systems followed in the soybean. Uh, next one that is the uh, nutrient management or the manures and fertilizer. As the manures, those for the species soybean required or add 15 to 20 tons of FOM or compost per hectare should be applied at the time of uh, final land preparation or before one month of sowing. As the recommended dose, uh, that is uh, 20 to 30 kg nitrogen, 70 to 80 kg phosphorus, then 50 to 60 kg potassium per hectare should be applied at the time of sowing. In additional uh, application of gypsum at the rate of 400 kg per hectare 
helps to provide the sulfur and calcium to the plants as the better development of uh, calcium plays an important role to increase the oil content and the calcium uh, sulfur is a uh, important uh, plays an important role to increase the oil content and calcium for the uh, increase the weight and the size of seed uh, then uh, 200 kg of gypsum should be applied at the time of sowing and the remaining 200 kg should be applied at the flowering stage due to sulfur helps to increase the oil content in the soybean Next uh, point that is the <coughs> water management. Uh, in, uh, soybean is a karif season crop. If rains are issued timely or properly, then there is no need of irrigation. The, if the rains are uh, not issued, then should apply uh, water or irrigation at critical growth stage such as the seedling stage, uh, then uh, uh, branching stage, then flowering, then pod filling and then uh, seed formation stage. These are different stages. Among all uh, the stages, the uh, uh, flowering and the pod filling are the critical growth stage of, uh, stages of uh, soybean for irrigation. And uh, next one that is the weed management. The soybean is uh, acts as a smother crop. Smother crop means the, the crops which having the uh, uh, vigorous growth, uh, uh, grows fastly with a quick growth habit within a short period of time it helps to the control of weeds and uh, but at the initial period the soybean is very sensitive to crop weed competition if the weeding is not done then it reduces the <coughs> crop yield and the application of uh, chlorine at the rate of 1 kg active per, per hectare in 800 to 1000 liter of water helps to control the weeds then uh, so they follow the one weighing and two to three hand weeding operations are required for the control of weeds in soil. Uh, next one uh, that is the paste and disease. Um, in case of soybean there are different pests, uh, uh, major pests uh, are the same fly, then girdle uh, beetle, then BRR caterpillar, tobacco caterpillar, then semilopar. Uh, you can see here the photographs of uh, this is the girdle beetle which will uh, stop the uh, carbohydrate, nutrient and water flow by the cutting of these uh, xylem and floral layer. Uh, that's why this is a major pest. Then the stem fly, it will be uh, fed on the uh, inert matter of the stem and uh, then uh, BRR caterpillar, this is a BRR caterpillar, then tobacco, it is caterpillar, then semilupar are the major pest of soybean. The pest can be controlled by the application of forehead at the rate of 10 kg per hectare uh, before sowing. Then spraying of endosulfan at the rate of uh, 1 liter in 1000 liter of water. Then collect and destroy the pest infected plant parts. Grow resistant variety, then clean cultivation and then timely sowing. These are the pest of uh, soybean. The next one uh, that is the diseases. In case of diseases, the uh, shielding blight, leaf spot, anthracnose, and the rust, and then uh, yellow vein mosaic virus uh, are the disease. Uh, among the all, uh, the yellow vein mosaic virus uh, disease is the major disease uh, in soybean, then followed by rust and uh, shielding rot uh, due to the uh, this uh, shielding rot due to the uh, water logging conditions. I think uh, these diseases can be controlled by the seeds are treated with thyrum or captain. Uh, at the rate of 3 gram per kg of uh, seeds will control the disease, uh, disease effectively. Then spray the crop with mancozeb at the rate of 2.5 2, 2 gram uh, kg per hectare in 1000 liter of water. Then collect and destroy infected plant parts. This is uh, infected plant parts, then clean cultivation, then grow resistant varieties. These are the different uh, diseases of soybean. The next one, the harvesting and yield. Uh, before harvesting of the soybean crop, we have to see the uh, signs of maturity regarding the yellowing of leaves, then dropping of leaves, then pod become greenish to yellow in color, then seed becomes hard and golden uh, in color. Metallic sound comes when the shaking of pod or uh, whole plant, then seed become hard and tough, and then soybeans should be. Harvested timely, if the harvesting is delayed, then uh, shattering and seeding of the pods as the uh, as well as the seeds takes place. Then harvesting is done either by uprooting the whole plant or cutting the whole plant close to the ground level by the means of a uh, sharp sickle. 
then harvested plant material should be transfer or carry in the fo- threshing floor and dry it sun uh, under sun for the 2 to uh, 3 days and the threshing should be done with the help of threshing machine or bullock trampler or beating with the help of sticks then thresh seed material uh, should be clean properly and dried under sun then yield uh, of soybean that is 30 to 50 quintals per hectare this is the uh, today's topic about the crop production technology of uh, soybean